Welcome back to another video, it's the one and only Pocket Gaming, and today we'll be talking about the partnered Bedrock Edition server known as The Hive. Anyways, if you could take a second to leave a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Make sure to leave a comment on your thoughts about the situation, and click the little bell to have notifications for all my future live streams and videos, but without further ado, let's go. First, I would like to give a big shout out to I'm Sharks, The Iron Lamor, and Rubixo for joining me in the background gameplay of this video. They're all great Hive content creators, you guys can go feel free to check them out down below. Now, let's talk about the Hive and what's been happening the past week. So, if you haven't heard, they released an update patching the Fire Swords because of how big of a problem it was becoming. Here's what they said on the update about it. So, they did have a follow-up change, which I'll mention afterwards, but here we go. So, Skywars, minor balancing patch. They removed the Fire Swords. They added the Sword of Embers. There's a 1 in 5 chance of igniting an enemy on hit now instead of just, you know, the first hit, which is a lot better. Now, they've actually made some changes following up to all this, so... They said this, based on community feedback, we've made the following additional changes to Skywars. They increased the Sword of Ember's Ignite Charge to 1 in 4 instead of 1 in 5. They added Fire Protection 1 to Bling Boots. They added Fire Protection 1 to Diamond Leggings in Ender Chest. And they added Fire Protection 2 Diamond Leggings to the Mystery Chest, which is pretty dope. They also added this, guys. They added the Skywars Experimental Block, so it's called the Crumbling Cobblestone. So they said this, introducing a brand new Skywars Special Block, Crumbling Cobblestone. Crumbling Cobblestone is a building and bridging block that self-breaks after 2 seconds. It could be found in regular chests and resource iron ores. Crumbling Cobblestone is an experimental change. We may decide to change it based on community feedback. Something else that's been really cool is the revival of survival games. The update is not out yet, however, they've been gaining over a thousand plus concurrent players. As you can see from this tweet right here by Quapot the other day, and if you guys hop on right now, there's definitely a thousand plus players because I just checked. I also love how it says update coming soon, you know, that really does mean a lot to diehard SG players like me. And now let's talk about the dramatic rise of the Hive in the past week. Basically, they broke their own record for the most players with 61,000 players yesterday, as you can see from this picture right here. That is absolutely insane, and it's going to continue to rise. In the past, they were averaging around 20 to 30,000, and now it's 50 to 60,000 concurrent players. That is insane, and I think it's only going to get higher as they continue. I personally believe that they will pass Hypixel Java, who is averaging around 100,000 players to 150,000 lately, which is absolutely unreal, but there is a big difference between the two. Hive is constantly making updates and adding new things, while Hypixel is not. And so many people are starting to make the switch from Java to Bedrock slowly. Another big reason as to why the Hive is rising is because Bedrock is available on mobile devices, console, and Windows 10. While Minecraft Java is obviously only available on PC, which is why I see the Hive overtaking them as the number one server in all Minecraft. Now what else needs to happen in the future in order for this to happen? Well it's simple, Hive is already doing a great job by listening to the community and constantly adding great updates, and if they end up adding more powerhouse game modes like Sky Wars, Treasure Wars, or SG, it's just going to make it even better and more enjoyable for the players to not get bored. I also know that there are going to be more and more content creators and players joining the community which is going to create some sort of domino effect for everything to keep on rising. I think a lot of people forget that the biggest Hive creators don't even have 100,000 subscribers. So that's why I believe this is history in the making and we are all witnessing this at a very early start. I know some people may disagree with me on this and that's perfectly fine but I just don't see the Hive flopping anytime soon as well as the game of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So yeah. I want to know what you all think in the comments about some of this news and changes, as well as what other things you think the Hive can do to continue the success and become the number one server in all of Minecraft. I also got to say thank you guys so much for all the support lately. Literally, I was so, so surprised that the Tokyo's Revenge video has almost 30,000 views. I cannot believe that. And how we are so close to 9,000 subscribers. You guys are making this dream become more of a reality every single day. So... Just gotta say thank you. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I know it was a little shorter than usual, but I like just getting to the point and not beating around the bush. Anyways, we should have a stream tomorrow and a new video out. So keep the notifications on. But like we always say, Empire out. Also, I'm gonna leave this gameplay running because how did this guy not die, bro? How did he not die? We were smacking the heck out of him. But yeah, no, that's it. Empire out. <laughs>